I have a question for you. What happens to those little grade three students who see a sample of a blackened lung in health class and go running out of the room vowing never to touch a cigarette? How come, just a few short years later, some of them end up sneaking out back of the school for a puff between classes? Thank you for smoking, says Farmer Lorne. Tobacco farmer since the day that he was born. If you were to quit smoking, he would then be so forlorn. If no one smoked tobacco, he'd just have to plant some corn. Thank you for smoking, says Wally Brent. His firm makes cigarettes, and he's the president. And now a man with smoker's lung claims his whole life is spent. But Wally says, why did you not read warnings that we sent? Thank you for smoking, says Ollie Twist. He's got a cigar store, he's a tobacconist. If you enjoy a puff, his store's a place hard to resist. Please don't give up your patronage, it would be dearly missed. Thank you for smoking, says Jane Repent. A tax consultant who works for the government. We have this awful deficit, now can we make a dent? We need your syntax revenue, cause we have overspent. Thank you for smoking, says Brenda Faye. Her crematorium is functional today. As you go prematurely, she will come take you away and encapsulate your ashes in your favorite ashtray. Thank you for smoking, says Robert Fame. His firm will try now to perpetuate your name in keeping with your lifestyle and the way you played the game. Atop your granite monument, light one eternal flame. Atop your granite monument, light one eternal flame.